All right, so let me tell you some breaking news. Apparently, did you know that I'm the first wrestling YouTuber ever to curse in his videos? I bet you ain't know that. No other wrestling YouTuber has ever cursed in his videos. I'm the first one. So I'm like the pioneer. I'm like the Howard Stern of wrestling YouTube. I'm the Tom Likas of wrestling YouTube. Because apparently, when it came to my last video, um, apparently, when it comes to the AEW version shields, apparently, I'm the first ever wrestling YouTuber ever to curse in his videos. That's news to me, but hey, I guess I'll take it. I'm the pioneer. I'm a fucking trendsetter. Why? I'm the first ever wrestling YouTuber ever to curse in his videos. That's what they told me. <laughs> That's from what I was told. So I guess Jim Cornette is a fucking pastor. I guess Jim Cornette is a pastor at his local church. I guess that guy from New York is a pastor from his local church. I guess I'm I'm the evil big bad bad boy of YouTube wrestling. I'm I guess I'm the bad boy. I'm the Howard Stern of YouTube wrestling. Because no other YouTuber curses, I guess. That's what that's what I got. That's what I was I was told. So <laughs> That's how dumb these AEW fans are. That's all I'm saying. So, what I'm hearing is that Vince McMahon and his people have doubts about AEW's ticket sales and their sellouts and their success in these venues that they book. Now, you got all these shields, AEW marks, AEW version marks. Listen, listen. People got a problem with me saying version, right? Even though it's been well documented that out of all the sports, the so-called sports, right? Wrestling, the wrestling world has the most versions in it when it comes to the fan base. There's no version basketball fans. There's no version hardcore football fans. There's no version hardcore baseball fans, version hardcore NASCAR fans. They get women. They go out. And party and have fun with their lives. They don't. Their lives ain't wrestling. It's like they're not diehards for it like that. They don't give out death threats to people and shit. They, they ain't losers. Okay. They are just hardcore loving fans of their sport. They don't go overboard with it. But the point. The point I'm trying to make is. You, you, you got all these people saying that Vince is crazy. He's jealous and shit. Even though he has had multiple conference calls saying he doesn't find AEW as a fucking threat. And I gotta be, and I gotta be honest. I'm on his side in terms of how is AEW, how are they doing this with these ticket sales? How are they allegedly selling out these events if there has been photos people the past couple of years at their live events where those are not sellouts i'm seeing tons of seats left over so how are you allegedly selling out these shows yes i'm on vince side with this i'm on his side how are you selling out these fucking shows now people always make fun of smackdown raw saying oh um let's uh Bring out the tarps, right? Niggas is always saying tarps this, tarps that. Raw wasn't a sellout. There was tarps everywhere. SmackDown wasn't a sellout. There was tarps everywhere. People say they inflate the numbers at WrestleMania to make the, to make themselves look good. Okay. How come AW doesn't get that same flack? How come that's how come that's ignored? See what I'm saying? The WWE is a mainstream company. It's a billion dollar company. That shit been around for years. So if they have trouble selling out tickets, 
if they have to inflate their numbers, what makes you think Tony Khan ain't, do, ain't doing this fucking same thing? If he's bending over backwards to pay all these ex WWE guys tons of fucking money to make his product better, he's doing whatever it takes to make himself look good in the fans' eyes. That's why he holds on to this whole key demos crap. He loves pushing the goal. He loves pushing the goal post forward. He loves having pass on the back, but. Let's get back to what Vince said. Like Vince thinks these numbers from from from, from AWs are fake, and I as I think that's fucking true. They gotta be fake because you keep on look these anti WWE guys. They keep on making fun of the ratings, right? Oh, Raw was down, SmackDown is down, so they equate that to the ticket sales. So, when the rates are down, they automatically say, oh, there's tarps everywhere. There's seats left over. Okay, all right. Then how come you're not using that same logic towards AW? AW, all month, the past two and a half months, they have not reached one million viewers on Dynamite. Like I predicted, I said, when the NBA comes back, that's their competition. Once the NBA comes back, they will find out how Raw feels when they go against football on Mondays. And now look at them. They can't reach 1 million. Ever since the NBA came back, they can't reach 1 million, as I predicted, because I'm never wrong. Remember, remember I said that when Seth Rollins lost the edge, I said Seth Rollins will be the number one contender for Big E. And guess what? He was the following week. Oh, but I'm wrong, right? I talk shit. Even though, even though I ain't, I'm never wrong. Never wrong. I don't know the meaning of being wrong because I'm never wrong when it comes to wrestling. So, let's look at the number from, from AW. Let's, let's, let me challenge your logic. If the numbers of Raw and SmackDown are down every week right, when it comes to ratings and you always make fun of uh, the ticket sales and you're always saying that they got to give away tickets to Raw. A- AEW, let this sink in. How are they much better if when CM Punk made his debut on Rampage That shit had, what, 1.2 million, 1.3, I think. Fast forward two months later, they down to 400K per week. So I ask you once again, where are these ticket sales coming from? If nobody cares to watch your product on TV, how are you selling out these events? If you can't get 1 million every week consistently, on Wednesdays, how are you selling out these fucking shows? Are you buying tickets, Tony Khan? Are you giving away tickets? That's what Vince does from time to time, but not all the time. So what makes you think Tony Khan ain't doing the same thing? How is he selling out these shows if nobody's watching his product on TV? Dude, there's no excuse for TNT. There's no excuse for AW not to get one million viewers per week. If, if you keep on telling me AW is so great, it's so much better. How? That's like saying, that's like saying WCW was always better than a WWE. Even though Raw is war was whooping that ass on Mondays when it came to ratings. After, after 99, after 98. So that that's the same thing, bro. You're saying that WCW was better than a w, than a WWE, because basically you're saying that it's it's not about the numbers; it's about the quality of the of, of the shows, right? So in hindsight, you can say shit. You can say ECW was better than Raw. You can say Nitro in 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 two thousand was better than um Raw and um uh, fucking fucking SmackDown. 
if you are just constantly ignoring the TV ratings, even though that's what that's what defined the Monday Night Wars was the TV rating, not the key demos, not the quality of, of the shows. It was who was winning in the overall viewership. That's the only thing that mattered. That's the same thing. It's like, dude, ratings matter, man. I don't care what you say. Ratings matter. TV, I don't care how good your shows are. You can say Impact Wrestling puts on better shows than Raw, but what does that mean if your TV rating says otherwise? That is subjective. That's just your opinion. If Raw is beating Dynamite in, in ratings on TV, in overall viewership, but you, but you're saying a but you're saying a e w is better. That's just an opinion. That's not a fact. The facts are Raw is better than Dynamite. That's that's what the facts say. That's what the numbers say. So a w, what is your excuse? Raw has to has to go against fucking football on Mondays, but on Wednesdays you gotta get your ass whooped by ESPN, the fucking NBA, basketball. That's your competition. That's why you ain't getting no. That's why you ain't getting no million. But the point I'm trying to make is, yes, there's something fishy going on with Tony Khan. If you can't get hook, let's let's compare WCW and and AW. Let's let's go back to the year 2000, the year 2001, the dying days of WCW, right? They were they were still averaging over two million viewers per show. I hope you know that, right? But their ticket sales weren't good. They were struggling to sell out shows, right? But people always say those were the dying days of WCW. But here you have AEW. They can't get they, they can't get one million viewers per Wednesday, not anymore, since basketball came back. So nobody cares to watch it. Nobody cares to watch it. Nobody's nobody's watching Dynamite. Nobody's watching fucking Rampage. 800 k plus people. That's bad. I'm sorry. You you been around too long, AW, to be getting 800 k. You should already have a growth spurt already. Where is the fucking growth spurt? You've been stagnant. Your your debut show had what? 1.4? Now it's down to 800k. You you keep on bouncing back from a million to 800k. And once you go on TBS next year, you will probably get maybe 700k, 800k maybe. Because nobody gives a fuck about about, about 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 TBS. Nobody cares about the fucking TBS. Nobody cares. Okay? Nobody was watching Thunder. <laughs> Who the fuck was watching Thunder? Only the only only the hardcore fans was watching was watching Thunder. I was, but the majority of the casuals weren't really watching WCW Thunder like like that. So can you imagine Nitro being on TBS? Shit, they would have been down. So even TNT has lost patience with, with you, Tony Khan. So who who am I to put it past you that you ain't buying these ticket sales for yourself? To make yourself look good. So look, man, it, it goes hand in hand. If you are, if you are accused of events of, of buying tickets for himself and and trying to sell out Raw and SmackDown and trying to sell out trying to sell out WrestleMania SummerSlam by actually giving tickets away for fucking free if you were accused of visiting that then Tony Khan should get that same blame who are you to say he ain't buying tickets himself if he's struggling AEW is struggling in TV ratings but they are selling out shows there's something fishy about that because if you keep saying Raw and SmackDown are struggling in ratings and you equate that to, the, to their low ticket sales, then 
where is your suspicion with AEW? That's fishy, my nigga. That's fishy as fuck. I'm always wondering, how are these pay-per-views getting sold out? Who's buying these tickets? Who's watching this crap? If you ain't watching on TV, then why the fuck are you going to spend your hard money to go watch it? To go pay for it? If you ain't watching it for free on TV, then why the fuck would you buy tickets? Expensive tickets to go watch them in person if you ain't got the time to watch them on television. You see where I'm going with this? You see, my catchphrase on this channel is facts and evidence. The facts and the evidence are they are struggling in TV ratings. So why are they selling out shows? That makes no sense. WCW was averaging way more viewers than AW, and yet they were struggling to sell out shows on Nitro during the dying days of WCW. So I need answers to that. Something is fishy going on here. These numbers gotta be fake because they haven't turned a profit yet. How come how come Tony Khan is making his profit so fucking private? They haven't made no profits since being AEW. Where's the where's the profit growth? They haven't grown. Like when it comes to profits, they haven't grown. Yeah, I have proof of that. They haven't grown. I saw what they had last year. I saw their numbers. I saw their financial growth numbers last year, and it was like around. It was between 40 million, I think. It was between 40 million and 60 million. That's all they made last year. Versus the WWE who made over a billion dollars last year. So I need answers, man. Tonika, how are you selling out these, these fucking shows if we not as viewers watching your show on TV, but I'm gonna pay my hard money and waste my weekend going to your shows? You see what I'm saying? That that that, that, that don't make sense. How are, you, how are you selling our shows if nobody's watching on, on TV to actually go to these shows? That's why this man and his people have doubts about AW's recent ticket sales surge. How? You keep on blaming, you keep on accusing WWE of giving ticket, uh, of giving tickets away for fucking free. When they want to uh, sell out a uh, show, what makes you think AW ain't doing the same thing? So yes, I believe these reports. Uh, look, they be, they been they been around for two years, man, and it's like your shows are not that great. Your your ratings are dying, literally dying, man. You 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 keep on. Talking shit about the WWE's ratings. Why? That's embarrassing, man. Rampage went from 1.3 to 400k. That means NXT 2.0 and Braun Breaker is beating you in ratings on Fridays compared to their developmental show. Where's the outrage? What well, nobody's talking about that. How am I toxic if I'm giving you facts and evidence? You're just a soft pussy. Nigga, I'm from Compton, California, man. I grew up rough. I ain't soft. I, look, I'm not soft, man. I didn't grow up soft. It's like, I got to take anything somebody gives me. I'm a hardcore dude. I'm a, I'm a tough-ass dude. Like, just accept criticism. Accept criticism, man. It's like, AW ain't, ain't, ain't where it's at. How are you so good if you only get 800k on Wednesday? That's a that's a downgrade now. And guess what? It's going to be this way until the NBA is until the NBA regular season is over. AW will never get one million. Let's just let's just, let's just speak facts. It's going to be a long time until they get one million. Nobody nobody will watch. A, 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 no, nobody will watch AW over the fucking NBA on fucking Wednesdays. No, cause I don't. You know what I'm saying, 
Like, how is AEW so great? You're basically saying that WCW was always better than a WWF, even though they were losing in ratings during the during the during the late '90s and in 2000 and in, in 01. Because if 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 your ceiling is oh it's all about the quality of the shows, then you you can easily say WCW and fucking ECW was was better. Nigga, it's it's not about the quality of the show. That's is subjective. That's a that's a subjective argument. It's all about what do the ratings say. The ratings say AEW shouldn't be having these hot ticket sales. They shouldn't be selling out these events because there's tons of pictures I'm seeing online of tarps. At AEW shows, I'm seeing tons of shows of pictures where the 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 venue is like it's like half empty, but the camera ain't showing you that something is fishy going on here, man. Something's fishy going on. It goes both ways. How is Tony Khan selling out these these fucking shows? If you get 400k on Fridays now, you are going lower and lower and lower. Dynamite is getting lower and lower and lower. So how are people so anticipation of these shows then? When it comes when it comes to buying them, I don't get it. It makes zero sense. So these stupid ass channels that I'm seeing that are saying Vince is out of his mind. He's jealous that that he's saying that. He thinks that Khan is faking these numbers. Nigga, I believe him, actually. Because if if your show, if if your flagship show is only getting 800k for, for the last two months, it hasn't reached 1 million for the past like fucking a whole month now. So how you know what I'm saying? How are you selling out these shows? But yeah, man, that's the point. I'm trying to make. I mean, how are you selling out these shows, bro? It's like your ratings ain't matching your attendance. Your rating says a lot. If people aren't watching, then why the hell are they paying to go watch you in person if they're not watching on TV? That's all I'm saying. I'm done.